Aloha everyone, this is Hawaii's Pickle Lady. Today I'm making a whole roast chicken with stuffing. I've toasted the breads and now I'm going to cut them into half inch cubes. You can use any kind of leftover bread. I'm going to cook everything for the stuffing. First hot pan and I'm adding one pound of Italian sausage or any kind of sausage going to brown it. Now there's many ways of making uh, stuffing but this is the way my mother made it and I always make it like this. And I do the same thing for Thanksgiving when we do a big turkey but of course in a larger quantity. Sometimes I just buy a tube of one pound pork sausage and you can use that too. The sausage is done and this is really a good sausage because there's hardly any grease, so I don't have to strain it out. So I'm gonna put it on a plate for now. And I'm gonna put it back on the stove, put a little oil and saute the veggies. And now I'm gonna add an onion, diced up. And some celery, maybe about a cup or so. Now I'm adding about a cup of mashed potatoes. And actually this was just instant potatoes. This gives it good body and soaks up the juice. Then I'm gonna add back the sausage. Now I'll put in the breadcrumbs. And of course you know it's kind of dry right now. So you can either, either add some chicken broth or other broth or some milk. So I'm gonna add some milk. This is pretty much your stuffing, but I'm gonna add some seasoning to it. Salt, pepper, some Obey seasoning. And the last is a little bit of dried sage. Now mix it up and I'm gonna cool it off because you can't put hot stuffing in a chicken. And I like to stuff the bird put the stuffing in the cavity because it has more flavor and all the juices will come onto the um, stuffing. But we have to cool it off first. Now a lot of people don't like the stuffing in the bird, but I think the taste is better. Some people just put the stuffing in a pan and bake it separately, but I choose not to. Now I'm ready to stuff the chicken. But first I'm going to prepare the pan. I have a pan here and line it with foil. The easy way is to put the foil on the back of the pan, shape it, turn it upside down, turn it right side up, and just press it in there. Then you don't have to fuss with the uh, foil. Now I'm going to put a rack inside. Now I have the chicken, I've cleaned it, and now I'm going to rub with about two tablespoons of melted butter all over. I'm going to put gloves on because it's kind of messy. And I've covered the salt and pepper with plastic wrap so to avoid contamination. Okay, now I have two tablespoons of melted butter. Gonna rub it all over the chicken. And then I'm gonna sprinkle salt and pepper all over as best as I can. Now some salt. Now I'm gonna put the chicken on the rack breast side up. And I'll just tuck the wings under. Now, on the breast side, I'm going to open up the skin and I'm going to add pieces of butter. Okay. Now, we're ready for the stuffing. I'm going to put it in the cavity. 
You can put the extra stuffing in a dish and bake it on the side. The part has a big cavity, so I'm gonna try to stuff as much as I can in there. Okay, I have a metal skewer and I'm gonna sew it up. Bring the two edges together and just go in and out so the stuffing won't come out. Now we do the bottom end, another skewer. And you can also, if you don't wanna do this, you can also put a piece of bread and just shove it there, or you can put some foil. Now I've preheated my oven to 375 and I'm going to put it in for about hour and a half to hour and three quarters and you want the finished temperature to be 165 degrees. I'll put the rest of the stuffing in a pan and cover the pan with foil. And probably the stuffing will take only about an hour. It's been hour and a half, and you can see it's 165 degrees, so it's perfectly cooked. So I'm gonna take it out. Let it sit for about half hour, because if you cut it now, all the juices will run away. The chicken has cooled for half hour. Now I'm gonna take out the skewers and remove the stuffing. Stuffing is very moist from all the juices in the chicken itself. Now I'm gonna cut the chicken up. I have a platter here. First I take out the thighs. Oh, look at all the juice here. This is perfectly cooked. See all the juices coming out? Now, I'm not going to cut it all because I like to save these soft parts to make chicken salad. Here you are, the finished roast chicken with stuffing. And don't forget to smash that like button. And mahalo for watching. Thank you so much.